In episode 2, we'll learn how to balance energy on Iliagnus pungens or silverberry with Master Keiichi Fujikawa. In addition, we'll learn the proper trimming techniques for Japanese maples as they leaf out in the spring. And lastly, we'll take a tour through Kyoto during the sakura or cherry blossom season. で、これは海っていうのは、うん、海っていうのが剥がれしても全然大丈夫なきね。だからそうやって飾った。そしたら今、4月の終わりの後こうやって芽が出てくるよね。そしたらここら見てほしいけど、ちっちゃい葉っぱと大きい葉っぱになってしま
these techniques are not performed on a yearly basis, the inner buds and leaves will die off, making it difficult to maintain the overall size of the bonsai over a long period of time. However, if the techniques are performed, back budding will occur, at which point the branches may be cut back to reduce or maintain the overall size of the tree. Aside from standard Japanese maples, these techniques may also be applied to cultivars such as Dishojo and Benichi Dori. Other more unusual cultivars of Japanese maple, such as Orihime, will also benefit from the same trimming techniques. The same may also be said for the treatment of Shohim bonsai.